here again with the 1925 Ford Model T. Um, in this video, um, we're going to be looking at how to uh, adjust the bands in a bit more detail. Um, in particular, the low band, as seeing as that is the one that gets used uh, the most for uh, pulling away from a standing start. So, yeah, in this video, primarily we'll be looking at how to adjust the low band. So, let's get cracking. Okay, so as you can see here, I've already gone ahead and removed the floor pan in the front here so you can see the uh, transmission housing underneath. So what we'll do first, and I'll try and keep this whole video as real time as possible. Well, first of all, we'll go ahead and remove the uh, cover there so that we can access the bands to make our adjustments. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll remove these screws. There are six of them, I'll just loosen these guys off. I'll just pause the video for a second so I can take this cover off. Okay, so now we've got the screws out, we can take the cover off. I'm just being careful here because underneath we have a gasket which we want to keep intact. And there we go, so we'll just put that to one side. And right here with all these, uh, all this metal all over it, you can see the, uh, the uh, magnet just here which has got the, uh, the uh, a lint filter, so basically it picks up any um, cotton that comes off of the transmission bands while the car is being driven and any metal filings as you can see it's covered in them so what we'll do first before we move on to the bands uh, we'll take this uh, we'll take the screen out and we'll give the magnet a clean now just a uh, just a note here not all this is, this is not a standard feature in a Model T this was a, an aftermarket accessory you could buy back in the day um, and as I say what it is designed to do is catch any metal filings and any fluff and that from the transmission linings so we'll, uh, we'll pop that out now and it just simply lifts out and if you don't have one on your Model T I uh, would strongly recommend grabbing one um, they are really really good so what we'll do is we'll pop that out and we'll give that a clean okay so you can see now I've cleaned the oil screen degreased and cleaned the whole thing thoroughly and the magnet as well which will now go ahead and pop that in there like so no, uh, no bolts or anything, it's obviously the magnet just holds itself in position. Okay, now we'll move on to adjusting the low band. Okay, now as you may recall, the, uh, the setup in here um, is actually um, really quite simple. Um, so it's actually the uh, centre band that we're going to be adjusting today, which is for the, the low speed. I'll just give that a push so you can see it moving across there. So what we're actually going to do on the outside of the transmission and bear in mind not all Model T's are actually set up like this and it depends on if you've got a right hand or left hand drive uh, Model T um, but this, uh, this is actually your external adjustment so realistically speaking you actually don't have to remove the uh, transmission cover at all but it does actually help uh, particularly if you're a beginner so you can see how far you've actually adjusted it once you've done it a few times you'll get to know that you know a quarter of a turn here or half a turn here is actually is generally sufficient so what, <clears throat> what we're actually going to do first is uh, slacken off this nut here so what we need to do is get a, uh, a shifter or a spanner or wrench uh, onto this onto this portion here on the end you can see it's got a flat spot on both sides so we grab, grab hold of this to keep it still and then we get uh, we get a wrench onto this portion here onto this nut here undo that slightly and then we rotate this one clockwise or anti-clockwise to tighten or loosen so I'll just get the tools and I'll show you how that's done okay so all we do is we simply put a spanner on this section on the outside I'm using an adjustable here I'm kind of cheating a little bit that's just a little bit easier so all you do is hold on to that and then simply undo this nut a couple of turns um, in order to access in order to uh, be able to make the adjustments and that should be enough adjust enough undoing there. Right, so the next step is to actually rotate this outer portion here. Okay, you'll have to forgive my uh, camera work here. I'm trying to hold the camera with one hand and the spanner with the other. Um, what we actually do is we rotate this, uh, we rotate this clockwise to tighten the bands. 
tighten the low band rather. And uh, trying to get this uh, under here is a bit of a challenge, but it's okay. So what we've actually done there is one half turn. And then what we need to do is actually, and what you'll have noticed inside there, you can quite see on the video, um, you'll have noticed that the uh, the bands will have actually closed up a little bit there. So what I'll do is I'll actually do, I'll just back that off again so that you can see the adjustment happening as I'm doing it. So as I turn this, uh, turn the nut, you can see, you can see that rotating there. And hang on, just loosen that off a little bit. There we go, you can just about see the, uh, the linings there moving apart there as I undo this, undo this uh, adjuster here. Okay, so that's back to where we were, so now we'll turn it one half turn in a clockwise direction. So what we're actually doing is tightening the band. That's what we want to do. Just put this camera down for a moment so I can finish doing this adjustment and then I'll show you what I've done. Okay, so that's the uh, that's basically the procedure. So I'll just quickly uh, recap what we've done there. So basically we undo this, uh, loosen off this nut here a few turns by holding onto this side and then undoing this nut. Then you get your uh, shifter or, or a spanner or a wrench or whatever you're using. Turn this end portion clockwise to tighten the bands, counterclockwise to uh, um, loosen them. And then once you're happy with the setting that you've got, um, and then you go ahead and hold onto this portion again and re-tighten this nut to stop it uh, adjusting itself from there on in. So as you can see inside what we've done, by tightening that, what we've actually done is we've, um, I don't know if you can just see at the tip of my finger there, you can see the two ends of the, of the band lining there. They've been brought closer together <coughs> so that when I push my foot on the, uh, on the left pedal there to move forward in low gear, um, it actually allows us, it actually, uh, the, the bands actually bite onto the drum a lot sooner, um, therefore um, preventing them from slipping. Um, and if you watch my uh, video on how to drive a Model T, um, you'll know that uh, unlike a modern car we don't actually um, where, where possible we try not to um, use the clutch in a, a progressive manner we try and um, engage the clutch as quickly as possible um, thus uh, reducing the slipping of um, that band and that, that applies to all of them as well where possible you can't generally you, it's a bit, a bit harder with the brakes of course because you don't want to stamp on the brakes otherwise you'll go through the windshield but um, particularly with um, reverse and the low band, you want to try and engage them as quickly as possible so that they don't slip. Okay, well let's go ahead and put everything back together. Well, first we'll put the oil screen back in. So we've got the oil screen here, nice and clean, and not full of oil and metal filings. So we'll pop that back in. Make sure the uh, holes line up there. It will slide around a little bit, but that's okay. We can use the um, we can use the bolts to actually help guide that back into position when we put the cover back on. And now we need the cover for the, <clears throat> the transmission cover as well, which I've got here. And actually, before I put that back in, I might give that a little bit of a clean too. Okay, now you'll see what I've done here. Just a little trick when you're putting it all back together again, particularly if you've got an oil screen on. Um, what, I would, what I do to get everything to go back together is, first of all, I'll put a screw in in one corner and then an opposing corner and just do them up part way. That way it helps you to, uh, it helps you to line up uh, the remaining holes a lot easier. So what we'll do now is I'll just put the rest of those uh, screws back in and then uh, we'll, get, uh, we'll get the Model T started and we'll see if the adjustments that we've made are uh, satisfactory. Okay, so we have everything back together. Um, so we've adjusted that, that low band there today. So now what we're going to do is get the car out of the shed and take it for a little drive, just up and down the driveway usually enough just to make sure that the adjustments we've made are uh, satisfactory and uh, and that we don't need to make any more adjustments. Okay, so now we've done our adjustments on the bands, we'll now get uh, the Model T started and we'll take up a little test drive and uh, make sure that our adjustments are satisfactory. So we'll go ahead and get started now. And I cheated a little bit, the engine's already warm so uh, it should be easy to start hopefully. Okay, let's go for a drive. 
power. Okay, so what we're actually looking for, when I step on the uh, left pedal here to uh, pull away, I'm going to step on it fairly firmly and I expect the car to move off, you know, fairly firmly as well. If the car sort of, sort of drags its heels and pulls away sluggishly, I know the bands are still slipping. But if it pulls away brisk, as, as briskly as I'm pushing the pedal, we know we've done the adjustment right. So what I'll do is I'll show you how hard I'm pushing the pedal. If, uh, if I can come out of video, we'll give it a go. Give it a bit of throttle. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. Now I'll show you what that looked like outside the car. So when I, uh, when I rev it up, okay. So the adjustment we've just made is satisfactory, I'm happy with that. So when I push down you know, fairly briskly on the pedal, and I'll see if I can get that all in one shot for you. I'll just rev up a little bit. You can see my left foot there. And you can see the car's moved off. The car has moved off uh, nice and uh, smoothly and briskly as well, which is what we like to see. Okay. Okay, well I hope that video has been uh, educational to some of you, um, um, if not, yeah, definitely, by all means, go back and uh, watch it again. Um, but that's all from me for this video, um, if you liked it, uh, please uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and, uh, and also uh, go ahead and leave a comment there as well, I'll, uh, I'll see you guys in the comments a bit later actually, so um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and there'll be more videos coming soon. Bye for now.